Star Wars 7x7 episode 2387. Continuing and possibly wrapping up our conversation about video games this week, we're talking about electronic arts and titles that we either know are happening or that we know are not happening or maybe something is going on with and we'll get into all of that today. Punch it. <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, <laughs> uh, I'm recording this after what seems to be what would have been announced for anything being announced from Lucasfilm Games today. And the announcement was that the armor is coming to Galaxy of Heroes. So Galaxy of Heroes is the current mobile game that's active from Electronic Arts, EA. And the armor, of course, is the character from Season 1 one of the Mandalorian who we didn't get to see in season two unfortunately hopefully we'll get to see her in season three and when I read the statement from Electronic Arts about their side of hey you know we're thrilled to be working with Lucas Home Games and we still have projects in the pipeline and we're really excited to continue this relationship one of the things that they mentioned was Galaxy of Heroes that mobile game and there had been another one they had done which was Star Wars Commander and that is no longer a thing that's been Put out to pasture as it were but galaxy of heroes is going strong even though it's been a while since they've introduced anything quote unquote new in the sense that something that we didn't know anything about or that we learned more about as a result of the introduction of the character in galaxy of heroes right so the armor we're coming in is an established character and so we're not necessarily learning anything new. We talked about that a little bit with the Scarif Rebel Pathfinder being added and the Shore Trooper being added which was I believe the first time we knew it was going to be called a Shore Trooper for example. So Galaxy of Heroes is one thing that is definitely continuing. Another thing that is definitely continuing at least as far as we can tell and based on comments from earnings calls is Jedi Fallen Order. So apparently there was an earnings call for EA where they talked about it as the beginning of a new franchise. And so there is an expectation that a sequel to Jedi Fallen Order is in the works, but we don't know anything about that just yet. Just that it seems like it's as close to a done deal as it could be without it being formally announced. And so those are really the only two from Electronic Arts that we can say that they will actually be ongoing things with any degree of confidence. As far as, say, Battlefront 3, well, uh, I'll get to that rumor in a second, but there is another rumor that I want to kick around, and it's sort of related in a way, that's been knocked down. And that has to do with Motive Studios in Montreal. Motive is the studio that was behind Star Wars Squadrons, which was released last year to much acclaim. And they were also involved in the development of Battlefront 3. So there was a job posting that went up that implied, I guess, that they were looking for somebody related to a Star Wars. Wars game and development and they had to release a thing saying hey mistakes happen blah 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 but no we're not working on anything for Star Wars right now and that also suggests actually that even though Star Wars Squadrons was supposed to be completely self-contained when it was released they added a bunch of stuff to it afterward like the surprise release of the B-Wing and the TIE Defender being added into the game which was a welcome addition <laughs> and it was something that we even talked about here on the show like you know how could they release it without having that and what a lovely surprise that was but the suggestion that they're not working on anything Star Wars related also seems to imply that they are officially done with Star Wars Squadrons as well. Unless, unless I guess, they decide to do something that is being done with Jedi Fallen Order as well where they're making upgrades to it so that way anybody who gets it on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X will be able to take advantage of the increased capabilities of those two particular platforms. So I suppose that's something that could happen down the line potentially. And now we can circle around to Battlefront 3. So Motive was one of three outfits involved with the development of Battlefront 2, including Criterion Games and DICE. So establishing Motive's situation was <laughs> kind of necessary for this discussion. No word about DICE or Criterion at this point, but an interesting trio of people were together for something back in November and it's so far hush hush secret nothing announced or anything like that but it's rather a key trio of people. 
And those three would be, drumroll, TJ Ramini, who played Del Mico in Battlefront 2, Anthony Scordy, who played Admiral Garrick Versio in Battlefront 2, and Janina Gavankar, Aiden Versio herself from Battlefront 2. There were tweets back and forth between Scordy and Ramini about how nice it was to be working together again, but not about what they were working on, of course. And Gavankar posted a couple of motion capture suit images and said it was one of the coolest weeks of her life, but didn't mention anyone else. But coincidence is a funny thing. It's certainly odd that the three of them would be in the same place in the same time, especially considering that they have a very specific link together. So that's what has the rumor mill bubbling up about the potential for a Battlefront 3. I guess the only person we need to hear from <laughs> at this point is Paul Blackthorne, who is Gideon Hask from the Battlefront stories, and he hasn't posted anything to make you go, hmm. So, yeah, I guess we'll just have to keep on keeping our ears to the ground and see what comes up. So... There you go, that's our look at what EA has on the docket, what they don't, and what mm, could be happening. And that's gonna do it for this episode of the show as well. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.